Hello friends and enemies, welcome back to Happy For Now. It's me, Isabel, here, ready to give you your Romance Landia monthly update. So I wanna go into a little bit about what the plan is for this, so let's do that, and then we'll get down to it. We're gonna test run this. Uh, let me know in the comments, obviously, if you like it, or if you don't. I was kind of inspired by someone who used to be on YouTube called Elizabeth Lane, who did a weekly romance update, but she's since left the community completely, so it would just be, I just feel like there's not anything on YouTube compiling what's going on in general in Romance Landia. So I thought, why don't I try? <laughs> uh, this is definitely going to only be a monthly thing though because I cannot commit to weekly because I already do a weekly update with Romance Sparks Joy and help compile things for that. So you will see overlaps and things mentioned here and things you may see on Twitter. But I also know that a lot of people are not on Twitter. so. Sometimes you just don't even get to see this stuff that's going on. I will link all of my sources down below in the description box as well as uh, any other things mentioned that need links. So let's get to it. First things first, let's do the not so great things with the RWA. So the biggest thing we've had since my last video on the RWA in December is Damon Swade did resign from the board as president-elect. So that, that happened. Uh, we also had Carol Ritter step down from the organization, so that's another good thing. The Rita Awards were also canceled for this year, which is both sad and good because it's obvious they're training for people to help prevent any bigotry into the awards judging was obviously, like, not enough. We know that. So them canceling it is a good thing, but I'm also sad because I felt like a lot more underrepresented authors were entering this year because they had a newfound sense of confidence from last year's presentation and the direction that Helen K. Diamond was leading the organization to versus now. David Swade has basically been gone off the internet not to be seen until two days ago from when I'm filming this on January 28th when he popped up on this comment thread on Facebook. Uh, I'm not gonna read it to you, but you can go ahead and check that out. It's very interesting, just that he's showing his face and how he's spinning this. The other things that have happened around the RWA this month is that 46 chapter leaders sent a letter for diversity, equity, and inclusion action plan for the RWA to, to take, like, to do, um, to ensure these things are done and, like, are being done right. So far, no response from that, but there's a lot of big names in there, and I think it's a really good move on these chapter leaders' parts. Uh, also, we had a lot of publishing houses pull out of the RWA National Conference, and that is a bad sign. Like, a very bad sign. But it's also noted that RWA probably cannot cancel the event without incurring massive fees and that they probably don't have the money for anymore. So the bylaws for RWA require them to have a yearly conference, so that is another reason they also cannot cancel it, but they can cancel like the awards and other things. We do not have a date for the audit yet also, and the other thing I wanna talk about is the Dream Spinner Press situation. So Dream Spinner Press, uh, this is a big mess that's been going on for a while, have not been paying their authors any of their royalties. Uh, one author I know is owed over $40,000. That's a lot of money to just not be getting and they're still signing new authors. And the RWA was, when the RWA was founded in the 80s, they were founded in part due to category romance authors and their pin names. So part of what the RWA originally fought for was authors rights and like that's the purpose of this organization. And they're basically ignoring the Dream Spinner situation and another writing organization is now helping authors go after that publisher. That's a whole other mess, but I just wanted to mention that they still haven't spoken up about this. And it's very interesting that they, beyond their stance of we're not going to do anything, 
people in leadership had publishing deals with Dream Spinner. We've also had quite a few other local RWA chapters release their statements around the events and some of which are closing including the Las Vegas RWA chapter. Pretty much it's a mess and it continues to be a mess. I'm hoping obviously that we have a good conclusion. I don't even know at this point what a good conclusion for this is though which makes it even harder. <laughs> But that's the RWA update for January. I'm sure I missed stuff. There, like I said, is so much that has happened. I highly recommend you go check out the timeline on Claire Ryan's website. In fun news, Karina Press just announced their LGBTQ plus line, and I am so excited for these books. We have The Girl Next Door by Chelsea M. Cameron, The Hideaway Inn by Philip William Stover, Just Like That by Cole McCade. Last but not least, we have Hairpin Curves by Aaliyah Winters. I, for one, am super excited to see more queer slash LGBTQIP plus love stories coming our way, especially those that are own voices, like a lot of these. I have not checked every author, but I know quite a few of them are own voices. I just cannot, like, I cannot wait. 2020 is the year for me and my, like, queer reading. That's all I have for books. So I literally have one thing this month. This is the one thing that popped out to me personally that had me really excited. And then we have readathons in February. Yay! So I love a good readathon. As you know, it makes me read so much. So the first thing we have is the Black Loveathon from Mina Reads and Lucy Reads. And I'm so, so excited for this. There's like four prompts. It runs from February 7th to February 14th. And I will be participating and I cannot wait, cannot wait to talk about these books with y'all. Uh, I have some great ones picked out and I think it'll be really fun so be sure you check that out. Next we of course have the classic Contemporary-a-thon run by Chelsea Dolling Reads, uh, Julie from Pages and Pens, and Natasha from My Reading is Odd. This one runs February 10th to the 16th so we get a little overlap with those two but I for one still cannot wait and am kind of doubling up some books to count for both so we'll see how that goes. Alright and in conclusion our other fun items we have. I wanted to talk about a couple fun things happening in Romance Landia. If you're watching this like right now, like when this comes out, you'll still have a little bit of time to get on these things. I don't know how long they'll last though, so act quick. First, we have the auction for Puerto Rico run by Lucy Eden, and there are some amazing items on this auction, so go check it out. You bid on some items, you donate to the relief fund, and you get a cool thing from an author, or you can pick a book club theme for the month slash book. Uh, what else? I mean, there's a ton of stuff on there. It's incredible and like everything's already out of my price range and it just makes me sad because I really, really want that Kit Rocha Mercenary Librarian physical arc and the necklace because it's so cool, but beyond the point. Also like a signed book by Olivia Wade and there's this huge package of books from all these authors, these Latinx authors that I also want. <sighs> Again, everything's just, go check it out you never know. Next we have the Tal Relief Fund from Hashtag Romance Class Group. There are 19 ebooks currently in this bundle. It's $10. You cannot go wrong with this. Uh, it's up on Gumroad. I'll link it down below. Be sure to check it out. Other fun, fun thing that I am very excited for in just a few days, really not that long, like just over two weeks, the Ripped Bodice is going to announce their winners for their Ripped Bodice award for romantic fiction and I can't wait. I'm so excited for February 14th when they drop the names of all the books and you know I'm going to be reading them and I just I cannot wait. Uh, I hope you're excited. Just be sure you're ready and following along. Who knows? Maybe you'll get a reading vlog where I read them all. That's it for January's romance update. I will be back next month with February's update. Be sure to let me know anything you think I missed or that you're excited about that got announced in January and I will talk to you soon. Be sure to subscribe, give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. I will see you soon. Bye!